Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to grow your YouTube channel. I've gained probably, I think around 200 subscribers in two months. So last month I gained like 87, 90, and then this year it's been like 87, 90 in that large range, which is actually really good and it's a really good growth in your channel. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I gained those subscribers because I know a lot of people have been asking. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Please go like and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every single time I post and let's get into the video. Before I start, I'm actually going back to like one video a week because I need a little break and then I'll get back into it. But I just wanted to say that it's not the biggest amount of content coming out, but there's still content coming out. So I just wanted to tell you guys, but let's get into the video. I'm not gonna be the person to give you all of the facts, but I know someone that I love watching is Katherine Manning. She was a small YouTuber and she's gained like 200,000 subscribers so quick. So I know she talks a lot more about the algorithm and stuff that I'm not gonna get into. But if you're interested in that and growing even more, then definitely go check out her channel. And also, if you don't have TubeBuddy, this is not sponsored by it, but it's a really good, helpful extension on your Google Chrome that will go into your YouTube and it will help you with the algorithm type of stuff, with keywords, tags, more analytic stuff and stuff that you can do to help your channel out. I have that on my YouTube, on my computer, and it just helps wonders. You can just download it. So let's get into the tea. We're gonna start consistency. I think everyone has heard this one more than a thousand times if they watch this video, but it is so important. When I started my YouTube channel, I used to post and then not post for like three months and then kept doing that. And I didn't grow a lot of subscribers. I grew like, I grew like three, four, you know, like not a lot. It's just because my subscribers didn't know when to come back and they were getting bored waiting for me to actually put something out. So when they don't know when you're coming back and they don't know if they're ever gonna get new content, they're just gonna unsubscribe. I have like a schedule now. I consistently post on Fridays and then I've been doing an extra video in there that has helped my channel out a ton. Make sure you're doing it on a consistent day. If you can, just try to post once a week sometime. And then once you get into the more of the groove, then you can start actually going and saying, I'm gonna be posting on this day. So make sure you guys tune in. People are gonna subscribe because they wanna see more of you. They love what you're doing and they wanna see more of your content. But if you're not coming out with anything new, they're gonna get bored and annoyed and they're just gonna unsubscribe because what's the point of following a YouTube channel that's not coming out with anything new? It's just pointless. I have a little schedule on my notes page. It's called film schedule, so it has a bunch of like YouTube video ideas. And then on different days, it says when I'm gonna post. So like, I'm gonna post on May 22nd this video, and then May 25th this video, June 5th this video, June 8th this, and then 12th. If you're having a difficult time figuring out YouTube video ideas or what you're gonna post the next week, make that schedule and make sure you at least schedule videos one month in advance. So I have May all planned out and June all planned out. So when it gets to June, I will start with July. If you are not proud of the video, do not post it. Because if you're not proud of it, then you're probably not gonna put as much effort as you are in other videos. And just people aren't just gonna watch it. It's just a waste of your time and a waste of the viewer's time. That's everything about consistency. Now we're gonna get into communication. If you're not communicating or talking to other people, then how are you gonna get your video out? You know, people might be searching for the that video and your video is in the writings but that's only one way they're getting to your video but communication can do a ton like I used to never really comment on anyone's YouTube you know because I thought it didn't really do much but when you go comment something really sweet like little nice things like that you're bringing in that content creator because they're like oh they're super sweet let's see what they have you know because it's just it's just human instincts they want to see what you have you know they want to see how well you're doing and then you're not just gonna bring in the creator you're gonna bring in other small youtubers who are looking to comment to make friends. I used to be one of those people that would be like sub for sub and stuff like that. I, I'm sorry. I just need you to say it. I hate people that say that. Because they're only coming to your channel just for you to subscribe to them and that's basically it. You know, and that is the worst way to get subscribers because they're not gonna watch you. They're gonna subscribe and then they'll never go back to your channel. But if you say something nice and they actually go and put effort and time in to look at your videos, then it's different, you know? So it's the difference between saying something like, oh my gosh, you're so pretty, other than saying sub for sub. So if you're just saying sub for sub, you're probably just gonna get the creator. You're just gonna see it and be like, okay, whatever. And just subscribe and get out, you know? But if you say something nice like, you're so 
pretty. I loved this outfit look. It was so pretty. The content creator is going to go to your channel, but also people that have watched that video are going to go into your channel because they think you're super sweet and it looks like you have a good channel. See the difference? And I like this example. I don't remember who I got it from. I was watching a video and it actually like explains it really well. Let's just say we're in this community. Everyone lives on the same block and everything and you move in. You're in this new house and you're new to the neighborhood. No one knows you. don't even know you're moving in and you start moving in and you know, you're not really talkative. You're kind of just shy and like in your little corner to this big world. This one person has a party that night and everyone goes to it except you. So there's like 50 people at that party, but you're over here. You're not going to make friends in your little bubble where people won't know who you are. So with you not going to that party, everyone's like, who's that person? That house that is having the party is that video. And the people that are going to the party are the viewers and the commenters. So they're commenting, but you're not. They are meeting so many new people. They're talking to people. They're all going around the circle, like going to everyone's channels, like saying hi and everything. And you're over here getting like one comment every single day. If you go to that little party and you start interacting, then people will look at your channel. So I've gained majority of my subscribers from communicating. I just go on people's YouTube channels and I'll watch their video and be like, oh my gosh, I love your videos, like super good. And just say nice things. Don't say sub for sub because I feel like everyone just get annoyed with people saying that. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me. Like, I don't want to be mean. I'm just saying. That's about communication. Now we're going to get into the next topic, which is watch duration. I used to think when I posted a video, they watched the entire video. The entire thing. Then I found out about watch duration. That showed me that only people watch my videos set till like two minutes or three minutes. And that made me want to cry. Because I have like a 10 minute video and people are just watching for like three minutes, which is kind of sad. Tip number one is have long videos. Long videos always do good. YouTube will recommend them to people. YouTube will put it into the search, everything. They will put that video out because it's longer, which means people are going to watch the video longer, which means when people are watching the video long enough, they will comment something. And then YouTube will see people are commenting it and Will grow that video up and up. YouTube's algorithm is literally looking for that one video that will keep viewers on longer. If you're coming out with like a four minute video and it's really boring and people aren't watching it, YouTube isn't going to recommend it because no one's watching it and they're only staying for maybe even one minute. But if you have like a 15 minute video, people are going to watch it maybe for five minutes. It's a long video and a lot of people are going to it. Then YouTube is going to recommend that one because it's bringing more people to their sites. It's also making people stay on long enough to watch more and more videos and if you are having like long videos and really successful ones then they will come in that little bar on the side for people to like watch the next video from you. If you give YouTube what they want then YouTube will take that and will spread it away and then if people are liking that video then they will spread another video and on and on. The estimated time is like three minutes on every single video. If your video is going higher in watch duration then YouTube is going to just spread it as much as they can because everyone's watching this video. I know some people have a difficult time keeping people on their channel so I know a couple things you can do to spice up your videos is in the editing. In talkative videos like this sometimes I will add music in the background or maybe if I want to add something like a, like a pop-up or something that helps out a lot for people to watch this video. Now we're on the last thing which is keywords and tags. This is going into the algorithm. This one's gonna be a long one but keywords are basically the things in the search bar that people are searching up. So if, if I want to look up a video that says spring clothing haul forever 21, the keywords are going to be forever 21, 2020, haul, try on haul. Yes, that's a good one. Those are all the little like key things that people are searching for. So if you have that in your title, then you're just helping the algorithm move along. So those are the keywords that they will probably put in the little search bar. So with the keywords, you want to have them in your title, your description, and your thumbnail. People are looking for those exact same words so if you have them in your tags and your description and title and thumbnail then you're just helping the algorithm move along whenever like you're on and you're typing something up and then you're scrolling and seeing a video to watch and you have those like bolded letters and their description of some youtubers those are the keywords that's basically what keywords are and then tags are like extra help so for tags tags are a little bit different they're kind of like the same you will just write in the keywords well if people are searching that up your video will come up for that. So if I say try on haul, summer try on haul, spring try on haul, clothing haul, a bunch of different tags, but in the kind of the same category of a haul, your video won't just show up in the summer try on haul one, it'll go in the spring and the clothing haul, and like 
all the different ones. So tags will just help broaden your search so your video will come up for those little things. Things you want to look into when you're making a video. Consistency, communication, watch duration, and keywords and tags. Those are the main things that I've been going on and TubeBuddy has helped me do that by helping with my keywords and my tags. That's where some of my videos are getting ranked because of those keywords. Those are the top tips. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please go to like and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every single time I post. Thank you for almost 600 subscribers. Oh my God. Like that's in one month. Like serious, oh my God. Even closer to 1K, which is insane. So yeah, I am just very thankful and so I will see you guys later. Bye.